So here are the topics that we are covered. Uh, we are going to cover today. Uh, we'll go through about uh, what is the Hong Kong ePortal. Uh, what are the e the email services that you can use? Uh, the information security, the networking, uh, the PCs and printing facilities that you can use uh, within the university and the learning commons, um, uh, what are the research supports uh, given by uh, our, our colleagues and also uh, some uh, mobile apps that you can download on your mobile phone. And last but not least, uh, where to get help when you need us. So I, I will go through everything um, uh, in today's uh, PowerPoint. And for this PowerPoint, I'm going to send a copy to you after today's uh, seminar. So do you, you don't have to drop down everything. Uh, uh, you can just um, uh, take a look uh, while I'm talking. So first of all, about ITS. Here are the major support areas of ITS. We support the IT infrastructure of the university, say the campus network, the central server, and also we provide cloud computing to our departments. Also, we have unified communication, say uh, we support IP phones and, and the video conferencing for our um, staff, and also the data center management. For the learning and user services, uh, which uh, our students will get uh, most connected to, is uh, first of all the very important thing: the Hong Kong Portal services, and also the learning management system and lecture capture service. The learning management system is the Moodle system. If uh, you have already uh, got classes, you may have uh, have to download notes or have tutorial signups. Uh, under the Moodle system. And also, um, we support the central and teaching learning space and facilities like where we are in, or central classroom, um, the, the AV and IT equipments are managed by ITS, and also user services. Uh, um, and I'm a team member of the user service team, and we provide support to our university staff and students uh, if they encounter any problems uh, when they are using our service. And also, we have uh, we support the administrative applications, information security, and high performance computing research support. And I'm going to go through them in my PowerPoint slides later on. And ne the next I would like to share about is the Hong Kong U Portal UID and PIN. I hope all of you have already created your Hong Kong U Portal UID and PIN. Uh, anyone ha have difficulty in creating your Hong Kong U Portal UID or PIN, uh, please let me know uh, after our class ends and I, I will help you to solve the problem. So, uh, so what is the Hong Kong U Portal UID? The Hong Kong U Portal UID is your unique user identification identification when you are in the university. Uh, often we call it account name or username. So what is the Hong Kong Portal UID or PIN used for? Um, first, you can use it to log in to your Hong Kong Portal. And also, you can use it on, on using the central IT services, like the st staff email and the student's email. And also, you will need this account to log into the Wi-Fi service. So, um, if you see see any of the uh, instructions or information that ask you to lock in your UID or PIN, that is the Hong Kong U UID and PIN. If the system is not asking you to uh, log in Hong Kong U portal UID or PIN, that may not be a service provided by ITS. You may have to contact your home faculty or department to ask for the specific username and password paired if you find that the system is not asking for Hong Kong U portal UID and PIN. So um, here is the information that I, I would like to address. I, I would like to all of you to um, uh, register contact information with ITS. So what, what, what is uh, the use of register your contact information with us? Uh, if you register your contact information with us, uh, say your alternate email and your mobile phone number, if you uh, forget about your Hong Kong U Portal PIN, you can reset your Hong Kong U Portal PIN online by yourself. So remember, the, um, the mobile phone number uh, should be a Hong Kong mobile phone number. So if you have input uh, and 
uh, phone number which is not Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong mobile phone number, please uh, go to portal and update it because uh, some of you may come uh, from other countries that uh, you may input another number uh, which is not a Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong mobile number. So I if you're not using a Hong Kong mobile number, when you try to reset uh, your Hong Kong portal pin, we can't send the SMS for you. So. Uh, uh, please update the information if, if that is not a correct one. And also, uh, when there are some uh, uh, security breach, say uh, we, uh, we, we ha want to contact you, if we got your mobile phone number or your alternate email address, we can send an SMS or we can uh, call to contact you to update about the information that we, uh, we would like to distribute to you. So um, please uh, grab the chance to uh, register the contact information with us so that we can get connected with you if uh, there are any problems happens. Okay. So the next part I'm going to talk about is the Hong Kong U portal. Uh, here is the, uh, what you can see after logging to the Hong Kong U portal. Uh, you may already uh, log into the Hong Kong U portal as uh, some of the uh, students you already have to um, uh, do, uh, perform subject registration for your courses. And uh, this is how the Hong Kong U portal looks like. Under my page, you will see most of the information you need. Say for student, you will have to use uh, very frequently under the student information system because because uh, all of your subject registration or your um, um, or, or your um, or your course information or or register with uh, your mentor, the, all those kinds of inf information or, or things are done on the student information system. For staff members, uh, you will have to check for the human capital management system on the, um, the my page. For example, check about your pay slip, uh, check about your uh, annual leave that kind of thing. For my email, for students, you will uh, see the connect email. That is the email we provided to our students. You can check it under my email tab. Or for staff, you can check um, your email under the my email tab. And for the my e-learning tab, it is used by teaching staff and also our students. You can assess the Moodle system under the e-learning tab, and it is a, a one-stop e-learning hub for our students. You can check about the course information. You can un download the uh, course materials under the e-learning my e-learning tab. And for my library, you can assess the library resources under this tab. And for the events tab, you can view and, and regis register to attend university events. Say, uh, today for today's seminar, you also register uh, through the events tab under the Hong Kong U portal. And for the Hong Kong U portal, as there are lots of information on the Hong Kong U portal, I would suggest you to use the search function under the Hong Kong U portal if you would like to look uh, look up something under Hong Kong U portal because it is quite difficult to remember the direct links under the Hong Kong U portal. So always use the search function may help you to uh, get get to the information where you you are looking for. So after talking about the Hong Kong U portal, let's move on to the email service. For the email service, uh, for students, we provide the Hong Kong Uconnect email service for our students. Uh, for this email platform, it is powered by Google and it has unlimited disk quota. And for the email address, it is your UID. UID is your login name for your Hong Kong U portal. And then the address will be UID at connect.hku.hk. And you've got a simplified email address, and that is UID at hku.hk. And it is for receiving emails until graduation. So if you are graduate from the university, the the simplified email address, uh, the one with at 
.hk won't work anymore. So um, I would suggest if you would like to get connected with your fellows even after your graduation, use always use the email address with at connect.hku.hk to communicate with your friends, your your fellow classmates or your teachers so that you can use it, continue to use it after your graduations. If there are some exchange students here, I'm sorry to let you know your Connect account will be uh, will not be able to keep using after you leave Hong Kong U. So, um, so um, for students who who will be uh, graduated from the university, you can keep using the edconnect.hku.hk account after your graduation. But for exchange students, you are only able to use it when you are during, during your study with the university. So that's the difference. And, rem the, and, and the final reminder is that hku.hk will not work after your graduation, okay? So that is uh, for students. And for staff, you will have a five gigabyte that's called uh, in-house exchange email system. And the email address will be uidnhku.hk and the server name is hkcc1 or hkucc-com but that is not the email address. For so for staff member, the email address is always nhku.hk. To assess your email, there are different methods to assess it. Um, first, the easy and simple simple way is to assess it through my email tab under Hong Kong U portal but nowadays I think most of you are, ha are having your own mobile devices and I suggest you can set up to access to email under your iPhone, iPad, Android or Android tab and also if you're using email client uh, say you have your own notebook computer you can use the email client program with the exchange setup to use it on your personal computer so you can also always uh, refer to the information online about um, on the use of um, the staff uh, the staff email or the student email The next part I'm going to talk about is an e-notice system. The e-notice system is for departments to post notices under my page tab of the Hong Kong U portal. It is to distribute information for our students. Um, you can see uh, we have administrative and services notice and general notice. Uh, for administrative and services notice um, is uh, always, it is always some notice that um, um, that affect our services. Uh, say, um, uh, for for example, for this one, uh, the, the catering service, um, uh, the special opening hours during holidays or special special opening hours during summer. Um, Departments will post up information which affect the services to our staff and students under the administrative and services notice. For general notice, uh, it is for department to post up some notice uh, which would like to distribute to our students. Say, um, for the ITS orientation, I will post it up on under the general notice so that it can distribute to our students uh, when you click in into it and uh, look up the information that you want. So you can always check the e-notices to see uh, any latest information by, by different departments under the Hong Kong U portal. And also a daily email digest uh, consolidating all notice from departments will be sent to our staff and students every day. So if you uh, don't like to log into Hong Kong U portal to check for the details, you can always um, see, uh, look under the uh, daily digest to uh, look for the information under the e-notices. If you are interested in um, any of the topics, you can simply click the link and look into the details of of that notice. After talking about the e-notice service, there is an another notice, uh, another service called bulk email service for departments to distribute information to uh, special students groups. 
uh, teaching departments and administrative departments can use the bulk email systems to send notice to target recipient groups. Say your faculty or department may use the bulk email service to send you an email uh, regarding to the information that you, you need to know. So if you would like to opt out any of the bulk email service, you can uh, go to the Hong Kong U portal and then search for bulk email control or simply type the keyword bulk uh, to go to the bulk email control page and you can and you can select to not receive uh, any uh, bulk email from a specific department or when you receive a bulk email from a department you can simply click the link please uh, click here to unsubscribe to unsubscribe uh, the email the bulk email from a specific department so that is the option to opt out from the bulk email system However, important bulk email is always uh, delivered. Uh, for some of the bulk email, if they are marked as important, even if you opt out uh, that email uh, from, from, from a specific department, important bulk email will always be delivered to you. Unsubscribe only, unsubscribe general notice, uh, but not important notice to, uh, of the department messages. So after talking about the bulk email service, let's move on to the information security. To protect your password, um, it's, uh, it's always a responsibility to secure your account. And, uh, and here are some reminders. Always use a strong password. Uh, don't use A, B, C, D, E, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, or something uh, which can be easily guessed by someone else. And also, do not disclose your Hong Kong U portal pin to anyone. Uh, say uh, uh, your your fellow classmate are asking for your Hong Kong U portal pin, so don't don't let them use uh, your password to do uh, something for you. So always keep your password for yourself, because if you disclose your Hong Kong U portal pin to someone else, you you won't know whether he or she will use your account to do something bad. Say use your account to hack someone, or use your account to send some fake email, some spam to to your fellows. So don't disclose your Hong Kong U portal pin to anyone else. And you also, you are required to change your Hong Kong U portal pin every six months. We will remind you when, when, the, time, um, when the time comes. So uh, you can either change your password or, or select remind me later. But if you ask me, I would suggest you to uh, change your pin regularly every six months to protect your account. And also, ITS will not pr ask you to uh, uh, provide your Hong Kong U portal uh, PIN uh, via email, phone, or website to confirm your validity. That if some emails are asking you for both username and password, that is a standard phishing track. Don't answer to those email or type your username and password uh, because um, nowadays, fake email always appears. So if you're receiving emails to say, "Oh, your quote, your your this quota is full," your and that is a standard phishing trap. Remember, I told you your email account do not has have any this quota for students. So if someone is telling you your account this quota is full, that is a fake email. Remember, uh, for staff, uh, you you may be uh, receiving email about that, but we will never ask you for your username password. Uh, with a link, okay. So uh, uh, beware of fake email uh, to protect your password, as I've told you. And when you're using public computers, be careful as well. Uh, remember to lock out public uh, public PC after using it. Say when you log into the PC uh, in the learning commons, always remember to lock off uh, after you use you use it. Otherwise, uh, people can use your 
printing quota to uh, to do printing with your account, or they can use your uh, your email account to send send email to someone else. So always remember to log off the computer uh, before you leave uh, before you leave your seat. And also, if you are going to lend your notebook computer to someone else, remove all cached password inside your computer. Because uh, for convenience, someone, uh, s uh, some, some people may, may prefer to, save, to choose saved password in their own PC. If, but, if you're using, but if you're going to lend your notebook computer to someone else, please remove those saved passwords before you're going to borrow it to someone else. And for antivirus software, if your notebook PC is not installed uh, with antivirus software, I will suggest you can download a copy of the antivirus software Sophos from uh, the Hong Kong U portal. All students are eligible to install a copy of Sophos on your PC for work related to studies. And for staff members, you can, uh, if your departments have ordered Sophos or Kabaski, uh, you can also um, download it through the ICS website. And, and here is a, is a friendly reminder. If your notebook it has already installed an antivirus software, and if you would like to use the antivirus software provided by ITS, um, please uninstall the antivirus software on your computer before installing the antivirus software provided by ITS. Because every PC can only install one piece of antivirus software. Uh, more doesn't mean better. If you installed more than one antivirus software, your computer will crash. Okay, remember that. Uh, more doesn't mean better because uh, antivirus software will crash among themselves. So, um, so th um, please uh, be reminded that don't install more than one. Oh, if you think that the, the one provided by ITS is better than the one that you're using, and install the, the one that you're using before install the one that provided by us. And for more information on how to keep your PC healthy, you can always refer to the information on our website. After talking about the information security, let's talk about the two-factor authentication for central IT services. Now, um, we offered a two-factor authentication service for the Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong U VPN network. On top of the Hong Kong U portal UID and PIN login, a one-time password will be required for authenticating. So how does it work? For staff and students, you will have to register your alternate email address with us before using the 2FA. So uh, go to the Hong Kong U portal and click uh, and search for 2FA and click the link register to to use 2FA to register your information with us. After your registration, you, uh, you will receive um, the uh, token from us, and you can download the HKU VPN client through the Hong Kong U portal. Um, and also follow the steps given in the page to do a one-time configuration on your computer before you can use the Hong Kong HKU VPN service. And, and Please be reminded that for students, you are only eligible to use email token. So uh, when you are looking for the documentation, always look for the information about email token. Only staff, only st uh, staff members who is eligible to use mobile token can choose uh, to use the mobile app token. So, uh, so what is the HL VPN for? Uh, the HKU VPN is for you to access some of the information which requires a Hong Kong U campus network. 
for example, some of the information under the library, you will have to, uh, to get connected to the Hong Kong New Network to download the journals or download the e-books from the library system. Then you will have to use the Hong Kong New VPN network. The Hong Kong New VPN network is for you to uh, access the Hong Kong New network when you are outside campus. When you are inside campus and co get connected to the Hong Kong U Wi-Fi, you are already under the Hong Kong U network and you don't have to configure to uh, the Hong Kong U VPN network. The Hong Kong U VPN network is just for you when you are outside campus, especially for part-time students that you are not um, going to school very frequently, but you have to access to, the, to some information which requires um, you are under the Hong Kong U campus network, then you have to install the, the Hong Kong U VPN client and also register the 2FA service to, to use the uh, Hong Kong U VPN service. So um, that is the installation part and, and if you have any difficulties uh, during your installation, you can always contact our service desk and we will try our best to help you to uh, get configuration done and so that you can connect it to the Hong Kong UVPN service. So the next part I would like to talk about is the network service. For network service, uh, for every student and staff members in Hong Kong U, you can get connected to the Wi-Fi access. Um, as all of you have already got your Hong Kong U portal UID and PIN, I would suggest you to use the Hong Kong U Wi-Fi. Because for the Hong Kong U Wi-Fi, it has a better data protection and you have to log in it with your Hong Kong U portal UID and PIN. And here is the one-time configuration procedure. If you have any difficulty in connecting to the Wi-Fi network, you can always connect to, uh, get, uh, get information about, on, about the procedures online. Uh, but for nowadays, uh, uh, connecting to the Wi-Fi network is easy. Just uh, tap the Hong Kong U network and input your Hong Kong U portal username and, and PIN. Um, normally, for most of the devices, you can uh, already get connected to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, but what if you have some guests or you uh, do not have your Hong Kong U portal UID and PIN yet? You can use the Wi-Fi.hk via HKU. That is a Wi-Fi network uh, requires low, no login. So just uh, connect to the Wi-Fi.hk uh, via HKU and then uh, uh, accept the terms and conditions and then you can use um, the Wi-Fi services. But uh, this is a Wi-Fi service with limited bandwidth and it is an unencrypted channel which ha is less secure. So if you are having your Hong Kong U portal UID and PIN, always use the Hong Kong U network. For the next part I'm going to talk about is the learning environment services. For the learning environment services, uh, they are a team of colleagues who provide daily inspection and maintenance of AV and IT equipments installed in central classroom. Also, I call these uh, support services for special lectures, seminars, conference and events. They also manage the AV and IT equipments in learning commons. For the security of classroom and energy saving, the classroom doors will be opened automatically by the intelligent building management system. So the classroom will be open 20 minutes before a class booking starts and it will um, lock the door after class booking ends. So say if your class ends at uh, 10, 20, the, the, room, uh, the door of the room will be locked at uh, 10.30. So if you're inside the room, not worry, you can always go outside by pushing the door open button inside the classroom. But if you are outside the classroom and the class booking is in, you may not be able to enter the classroom again because the door is locked. If you have left anything inside the classroom, you have to call our classroom services hotline or call the security to help you to open the door of the classroom to come into the room and get back to get back your things, okay? 
So the next part I'm going to talk about is the communal PC and printing facilities. Uh, students may use it more frequently uh, because you may need to access the PC to download your notes or print your notes uh, with our facilities. So I'm going to talk about it um, um, in, in the PowerPoint slides later on. And if you have uh, registered to, to join the Chihuahua Learning Commons Guide Tour, our colleagues will have a walkthrough uh, at the Chihuahua Learning Commons with you uh, to, to demonstrate the use of the PC facilities and, and everything that you can use inside the Chihuahua Learning Commons. And if you still have any difficulties in using those facilities or you want to get uh, to know more, you can also register the hands-on workshop uh, that is uh, scheduled in next week um, in, in the room KB110. Uh, I will um, give you a hands-on demonstration on how to install the software inside uh, on your personal computers, uh, everything. So if you have uh, any problem about that, join the hands-on session. So let's take a look at the PC and printing facilities. Uh, we have uh, different pre printing and PC facilities uh, throughout the classrooms, um, th uh, sorry, throughout the campus. And uh, we have uh, black and white printing and color printing. And uh, let's take a look about, let's take a look at, about at, at, at this table. Uh, for the centrally managed uh, PC and printing facilities, there are three places that you can access to this information. You can access the Chihuahua Learning Commons, uh, which is located at the CPD uh, first and second floor of the Centennial Campus. And you can access uh, to black and white printing, color printing, and PC facilities in the Chihuahua Learning Commons. We have both PC and Mac provided in the Chihuahua Learning Commons. And also, you can, uh, you can go to OVO or the Curve to access uh, the printing facilities and use the PCs as well. Uh, as the number of PCs provided in the OVO and, and the Curve uh, has limited numbers of PC, you are advised to bring your own notebook computer to, to do the printing uh, there. Because our uPrint uh, support uh, prints from your computer service, and I'm going to talk about it uh, later on. And for some of the faculties, uh, they have their own PC facilities. That is uh, Faculty of Engineering, Architecture, Business and Economics, and uh, Science, uh, Facul of Faculty of Science. And for dentistry, medicine, and school of nursing, um, they also have uh, their own uh, faculty laboratory. But uh, those laboratories are outside the main campus, uh, which is located in the remote campuses. Uh, for the central printing surface that I've told you, uh, uh, we called it the U-Print surface. It is a print anywhere surface. Every new student, you will have 103 printing units uh, that you can use. And for non-fresh undergraduate service, you will receive uh, 100 printing units before the start of each semester. If you do not, um, uh, the quota that we uh, is given to you is not enough. You can always purchase additional printing units at the value of uh, thirty dollars uh, per one hundred units uh, via the Add Value machine located in the Chihuahua Learning Commons or the OVO. Um, for the printing units, you can use it to print both black and white and color printing. Also, in some destinated printers, you can also use the printing quota to perform copying as well. And the printing quota will expire upon your graduation. So don't purchase uh, too much because it will expire uh, when you graduate from the university. And uh, why I say it is a print anywhere surface? Because uh, it is. And the mechanism is that you can print from the PC and pick up at any of the uPrint printers inside the Learning Commons using your um, uh, student card. So uh, unlike uh, uh, traditional printing, you print something and you have to uh, uh, go and grab the print, uh, printed materials on the printer, which is already printed there. But for the uPrint surface, you are printed to our server. And when you go to the printer, you have to uh, tap your student card and choose the copy that you want to print. And you have to wait 
for a while uh, for the print job to come out. That is uh, different uh, from uh, uh, the traditional printing that uh, you're using. And also, your prints can be uh, print from your personal computer. So just install a printer driver, and you can use your own uh, notebook computer to get connected to our U print printers. Uh, we support uh, Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, and Windows 10. And for Macintosh, we support OX OS X version 10.5 to 10.10. .10. And for iOS devices, uh, if you're using iOS devices with iOS version 6 to 9, and or if you're using Android devices, uh, which is uh, Android 2.3.3 or later, you can also uh, print it from your iOS devices or Android devices. But for printing from uh, mobile devices, the, the printing options will be limited. If you want a full, f a full feature or full function printing options, always print from a Windows PC or Macintosh uh, uh, PC. So we have a detailed uh, installation guide uh, to guide you to install the printer drivers on your PC and you can always check for the details on the ITS website. The next topic I'm going to talk about is the learning commons. Uh, the biggest learning commons is the Chihuahua Learning Commons, which is located in the Centennial Campus, the first and the fo second floor of the Central Podium level. And we have over 200 PCs and printing facilities there. And all the PCs there are logged in using your Hong Kong Uporto UID and PIN for both Windows and Macintosh PC. Both of them are logged in with your Hong Kong Uporto UID and PIN. So after you log in with your Hong Kong UUID and PIN, you can, uh, you can print uh, the materials and then uh, pick up your printing from any of the U-print uh, uh, printers in our, um, in, in our learning commons. And it, it, as the new print service is a print anywhere service, the things uh, printed using uh, the PCs inside Chihuahua Learning Commons, the print job can be packed up in the printers in the OVO because they are the same system. And uh, so um, if you find that there are lots of people waiting and you can't pick up the uh, print job, you can go to the U-Print printer on the other side, uh, on the other side of the campus so that you can uh, 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 save, it, it can save your time from queuing. If you find the PC, um, uh, if you find the printer has a long queue. And uh, there are two uh, comfortable, quiet uh, reading rooms in the Chihuahua Learning Commons. Uh, one is with a Western style with very comfortable sofas. And another one located in the first floor is uh, a Chinese style uh, with, with, with some uh, um, traditional wooden furniture. And for these two rooms, as they are quiet reading rooms, I would like to remind you that uh, no discussion is allowed inside these two rooms because uh, they are destined for quiet study. Um, uh, always do self-studies inside these two rooms and please don't do discussion. And for uh, if you would like to do some discussion, I would suggest you to book a study room uh, in the Chihuahua Learning Commons. There are 25 in the individual study rooms in the Chihuahua Learning Commons and you can book in advance. And all of the rooms are equipped uh, with AV uh, with equipments, and both staff and students can do the bookings online. So you can always uh, book a room in advance uh, via the booking.rts.hu.hkles book. You can always book a room uh, if you would like to have some discussion with your fellow classmates. And at the ground floor of the Chihuahua Learning Commons, there is a space for exhibition. So, um, and, and for now, uh, the ITS exhibition is there. If you would like to know more about ITS, you can uh, take a look at the ITS exhibition. But most of the information has already been covered uh, in our seminar already. Um, so uh, this is the exhibition area. 
And the next uh, learning commons is uh, the oval. It is located at the first floor of the nose building. And there are uh, 36 PC available in the room KB110. If the room KB110 is not booked for classes, the students can go inside the room to use the PC facilities. But if the room is booked for classes, sorry, you, don't, you can't use the PC facilities there. And also, new print surface is available for use. So you can either use the PC inside the KB110 to do printing, or you can uh, bring along your personal computer to do printing in the KB110, uh, in the nodes building as well. There is a, a smaller scale learning commons in the curve, and it is located in the first and second floor of the KK Learn building. And it is a common space for individual and group studies. 11 pieces are available for use, and also you can use the Uprint service uh, there, and uh, as there is one Uprint printer located in the, KB1, uh, uh, in the uh, KK Learn building as well. After talking about the learning commons, let's move on to the PC availability application. We have uh, a PC availability application which shows the number of PC available for use in Chiwa Learning Commons and some of the faculty-based PC laboratory. For the web version, you can always go to the ITS website and click Help and PC Availability. Or if you have installed the Hong Kong U mobile app, you can access the mobile version via the Hong Kong U app. So how does it look like? Uh, this is how the PC availability uh, application looks like. This is the web version. Uh, you can see that you can check for the availability uh, of the PC in Chihuahua Learning Commons. Uh, say, uh, you, you can check before you go, because um, when it comes to the ends of a semester, um, the PC uh, are always um, are always uh, in use by our students. So as the campus is quite far away from each other, say the nose building and the learning commons, if you're in the, s in the middle of the, <laughs> in the, of the campus and you can't decide where to go, you can check for the um, avail availability app before you go uh, to see uh, where you can get uh, a seat uh, for, for your, uh, for, uh, to look for PC for your study. And, and this is how uh, th the a closer looks uh, of the PC availability. When you click inside a room, you can uh, you can see the distribution of the PC available for use or the PC currently in use. Uh, that is looks like um, uh, a cinema ticketing service, right? <laughs> so you can take a look at uh, the distribution and decide where to go when you need a PC facility. And we also provide an experimental 3D printing service to our staff and students. And you can, if you also have some uh, 3D printing uh, uh, which needs to be printed, you can make an, an appointment uh, online at the uh, booking.its.hku.hk. And the printing charge is uh, calculated based on the time required to print the file. So um, for detailed information, you can refer to the information online. The next I would like to talk about is the Microsoft Student Advantage Program. The Microsoft Student Advantage Program, in short, uh, we call it MSSA. So what is it about? Uh, it is a program uh, for students only. The MSSA program, uh, for each of our university students, you can download and install Microsoft Office Propus on up to five machines, uh, being PC or Mac. And also, you can install Office Mobile on up to five mobile devices without additional cost. So uh, your Microsoft account user ID is your Hong Kong Portal UID at hkumssa.on.microsoft.com. And uh, you will uh, receive an invitation email from us uh, for new students about the Microsoft account password. But if you have already deleted that email or lost that email, no worries. You can al also reset your Microsoft account password under the Hong Kong U portal. So you don't have to come and ask uh, to 
uh, to ask us to send send you the invitation email again. Don't have to do so. Uh, if you lost that email or you already deleted that, you can always go to the Hong Kong U portal and search for MSSA to reset the account password. Then you will be able to use your MSSA account afterwards. Okay. So if you lost the, the password, just go and reset it. And that uh, and that Microsoft account username you have to use it. Don't on, don't only type in your Hong Kong U portal UID because the Microsoft portal doesn't recognize your Hong Kong U portal UID. The login name is always the Hong Kong U portal UID at hkumssa.onmicrosoft.com. That is the correct username. Uh, don't type at hku.ha or at connect.hku.ha. That is not the username for the Microsoft account. Okay. This PowerPoint is. Uh, I, I will also send this PowerPoint so to you. So uh, don't worry if you uh, can't copy everything uh, from the PowerPoint. So let's move on to the next part is the re about the research support. Uh, the research support is provided to our uh, researcher to perform their research studies. So if you are a research student or you, ha you are a postgraduate student and you would like to know more about the research support, I would suggest you to register for the, um, uh, the orientation given by our HPC team, uh, which is uh, scheduled in next week. So you can always check for the uh, details online, or if you uh, don't know or you can't register for the, for the classes, you can let me know after today's uh, orientation. And uh, for the Hong Kong U app, for Hong Kong U app, this is the University of Hong Kong mobile application, and it is available for download from the iTunes App Store or the Google Play. Uh, so let's take a look at the Hong Kong U app. How does it look like? It has a different module that you can use. For example, you can look for the food about uh, inside the campus, or you can uh, look for uh, any events, or for the timetable, it is used by our students, or if you would like to travel from one campus to another campus, and you want to take a shuttle bus, you can take a look at the shuttle bus schedule as well. And uh, for the timetable function, it is used by students only. You can always check your own course details uh, under the Hong Kong U app, uh, the timetable function. And students can also use the My Personal Lecture Timetable function to check your personal timetable after, after you log into the Hong Kong U app. And for staff, you can also use the Hong Kong U app staff directory and it provides an easy way to search for the office contact information of Hong Kong U staff uh, with your mobile devices. And for the, IT, the next one I would like to talk about is the ITN's event app. The ITN's event app is uh, information of ITS orientation 2016 events uh, is now published on this app. If you would like to get in touch uh, with ITS uh, to see uh, what are the orientation or what are the trainings provided by ITS, you can go and download it uh, from the ITS uh, from the iTunes App Store or the Google Play. And you can also register uh, uh, through the uh, ITS app. For the sustainability, uh, we, uh, uh, you are reminded to switch off your PC when you are not, uh, when the PC is not in use for a prolonged time. Say if you're leaving office or uh, leaving uh, leaving home, because uh, it can reduce the chance of your PC being hacked or uh, inflected. Or if it if it is in flash to attack other computers on the network, uh, 
and also it helps to save the energy and it is environmental friendly by extending the life of the, P of the PC if you switch it off uh, before you leave um, your PC. And last but not least, uh, getting information. So you can always get information on RTS website and also um, you can uh, look for the frequently asked question if you have any problem on using the ITS services and we have a bi-monthly bi -monthly newsletter ITS news uh, which will talk about the latest service provided by ITS to our staff and students and the last one is the documentation for example how to set up Wi-Fi or how to get connected to the 2FA you can always check on the documentation under the ITS web Website. And if you have any questions where to get help, you can always get help from the ITS service desk and general inquiry counter. Uh, you can uh, get general consultation in using IT services. Also, if you forget about the, your password, you can reset your password or uh, apply some special accounts. You can go to our uh, general inquiry counter. And if you have any question and you can, can't come in person, you can always uh, call our hotline, the service desk hotline at 39170123. And if you would like to get in touch with us in person, you can uh, come to our first floor, uh, come to our office at the first floor uh, library building. And we are opening from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And on Saturday, we are working in the morning from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And on Saturday, university and public holiday, we are closed. And also we provide a live chat service during our opening hours of our service desk. It is a real-time text messaging service uh, which uh, uh, can be used to communicate between our users and our service desk officer. Uh, you can always uh, start a web chat session via the ITS website to start a chat session with our service desk officer. And if you would like to send us an email uh, for inquiry, you can also send email to us. Or, uh, but always use your Hong Kong U email address to send. Or let us know uh, if you uh, are not able to use your Hong Kong U email to send. Please let us know. Let us know who you are by saying your student number or portal UID, so that we are ensure that we are communicating with our Hong Kong U staff and students, and also we can help you to check your information and perform investigation in a faster manner. And if you would like to uh, self-report uh, some, uh, some problem to us, you can always log a call via the web form as well. And for the learning environment service, uh, it is a hotline provided uh, for us, our staff and students uh, to get connected to our call LES team colleagues when you have any difficulties during your classes. So if you have any difficulties when you're using the facilities inside the classroom, call the LES hotline. And for st our students, if you have any problem using the student information system, uh, for example, you have difficulty in do performing subject registration, you can call the student information hotline. And the hotline is 28910777, or send them an email at asksis at, at, at hku.hk. So um, that's the end of our uh, seminar today. Thanks for coming.